during the past months, two months or so, I published a few circuits on YouTube and I made them very short in time, that's what I mean, and found that they got quite a few good views anyway. Uh, this is also in a certain way um, a video in that series. I want to keep it as short as possible. This is a demo circuit. It's a three-stage Darlington and uh, we know from the Darlington that each transistor um, adds its own amplification but you can multiply the amplification factor. So this is the first transistor, second one, third one. The first transistor has an amplification of 300 that's the BC547, the second one 200 and the third one 200. So in total when you multiply it you have an endless very very high amplification. And that's the idea of this um, schematic. You can use it as a kind of touch switch or with the help of a button switch here button switch and here a touch switch. Uh, when you have a wet finger here and touch between these two contacts the circuit will work. And uh, it has like I told an enormous amplification and that means that when you don't use here a kind of smoothing capacitor to smooth the AC out and then I mean the AC that is on your body when you live in an environment with a mains supply of 50 Hz or 60 Hz, there's always a kind of tiny voltage on your body and uh, it activates this Darlington. It means that uh, here through the end transistor the a current will start to flow that will activate the relay and you can use that for a 12 volt lamp or a horn and also for an application uh, on 110 or 230 volts AC. So the schematic again. So this is the touch contact and I will demonstrate now what happens. Uh, this is the load by the way, 12 volt car lamp. What will happen when you touch here this point in the circuit and when there is no capacitor at all to smooth the tiny AC out. So, well, now it works. That does not. This is the idea. You can see that the 50 Hz on my body uh, makes the relay switch. Even when I touch only this point. Of that first transistor with its enormous amplification but of course this is not in a certain way not very handy and that's the reason why I've connected here a, a 0.1 capacitor so that when you touch here this the capacitor will be charged and it will smoothen out that AC and uh, the, the circuit is stable when you touch one of the contacts. So do it now switch the 0.1 microfarad cap in and when I touch now the input here it doesn't work but when I touch with my finger a wet finger here between the two contacts you can see that it works and also that the capacitor gives a kind of time delay And you can, of course, make that capacitor in its value higher, say uh, 220 nanofarad, 5 microfarad, 100 microfarad, and the time during which the contacts are closed will be much longer. But there is an important thing to tell you also. Um, 
when you touch these contacts here, the capacitor is charged, but when that capacitor has a high value, say 100 microfarad, you have to hold your hand here for, say, approximately 3 or 4 seconds, or 5 seconds, till that capacitor is uh, properly charged, and then you will have quite a long time, say, in the order of minutes, till the relay switches off. It's activated now. And now I can this. This will show say the best ID. So um, that's one important thing. So there's, it's not a situation that you only have to touch this for a tiny moment and then the timer starts to work and will work for 10 minutes or so. You have to hold these contacts for a, uh, a short time. And even much better thing is to use here the so-called button switch. Then you press the contacts. The capacitor here is charged. And with a button switch it's very easy to hold that contact down for say a few seconds. A capacitor is charged here. And the relay will switch on during a quite long time. So that was more or less all to tell. Of course when you make here a rotary switch with more contacts, more capacitors, you surely have a good timer and here in combination with that button switch. Press the button switch, set the time here with a rotary switch and then you have a real timer. This is useful. I've made that circuit in my kitchen and it works nice. It works properly. Anyway, uh, that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching. Here the breadboard circuit again. This is a relay, 12 volt relay. Its DC resistance is 130 ohms. You can measure it. You often see parallel to the relay contacts a diode to protect the transistor. But uh, the transistor here uses a BD139 and it can handle a quite high um, base voltage. According to the datasheet, even 80 volts. But anyway, you can mount here that diode for the protective uh, to protect the. Uh, and transistor say when the charge inside the uh, relay coil fires back when the relay switches. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Pen over somewhat.